All right, this isn't this isn't a poultry video, but we are we made these hoop houses. We have that you see that structure back there, right there. We have garden boxes in there. My dad's a pretty big gardener. He's a master gardener. But we made these hoop houses, and it's only sorry the cameras are getting a little wet, but it's only second day in april april 2nd so and we already have uh spinach and lettuce seeds planted we did those yesterday in there we have our peas over here just planted them yesterday we live in western washington so it's not greatest weather it's misty right now but what we did is uh, for we still have to put our purlins on to go right there on these two and put the plastic on but what we did is we took the we took uh rhubarb or re i call i call rebar rhubarb <laughs> uh rebar and stuck two foot of re, re, rebar can't talk today rebar into these 10 inch boxes made it so where it was about right there and then we took uh these 10 foot PVC pipe, bent it over like this, and we did it three, and then we take this gardener's stuff, it holds really well, we took that and we were attaching it onto here, like you can see right here, and we had, we have three rolls of that huge visqueen clean up there, because we used to have a, own a commercial greenhouse and stuff, but we had to sell it because it was too big. Well, for where we moved now. But then what we did is we took the measurements of this right here, cut out the piece of plastic, took a piece of plastic like this, and it's all zip tied on except for one side. One side folds up. I can't really do it one handed. But this side will fold up to right here. So this side will fold up to right there. So it's, um, when it was 75 degrees out the other day and we were putting these up, they were warm inside. And it's just industrial plastic. It's not very thick, I don't know what size it is. But then hoop houses, called hoop houses, just the hoops right there. They're 10 foot pieces of PVC. We cut these because our boxes, I'm pretty sure, are 8 foot. So we cut these down to 8 foot 5 inches. Because you want a little bit of hangover. That sounds wrong. <laughs> but then you took zip ties, punched a hole in your plastic. There's a little hole. Ran your 8 inch zip tie through it, zip tied it down. They work perfect. I mean, I'm, I'm shaking pretty hard and they don't really move. So, this is for where we are going to leave, I think, all of these on. We're doing more today. All these boxes on during the summer until we get our new greenhouse put up uh, to grow some real nice peppers and tomatoes. We had about 150 tomato plants one year. Probably 150 um, zucchini plants, but we didn't have room for them, so we sold them. Here's some of our raspberry starts. We are moving them out to our patch out here that our renter, because we used to live in this place, probably had 10 acres. Um, probably, I don't know how long ago. Moved in the last couple years, sorry about that. Probably of last year. Started working on it, but they totally trashed our garden. So I'm putting it, or not me, me and my dad. Here's all of our other boxes. Here's our rhubarb. Growing real good. But, but yeah, we normally will have this fenced in with deer netting. It's a 16 foot tall fence, so. There's my dog. But, well that's the garden. Have some garlic growing over there. But, well, that's about it. But we, I will do a better video of how to build the hoop house when we're doing them later on today. <laughs>